upbeat. So again, he's depressing me all this talk about depression. <laughs> uh, I do think uh, mental health is the new bad back. I do believe in mental health. Uh, and I think there are lots of people who make a mockery of mental health. Detriment of people who genuinely have mental health uh, because employers are now so frightened of it that uh, bad back was fairly easy to disprove. You don't have to go follow somebody long enough and they end up playing golf somewhere. But uh, yeah, mental health is the new bad back, and employers are so scared of it they just don't know how to deal with it because it is becoming. When people don't want to be cured, basically there's nothing wrong with them, uh, then you're never going to cure them. People who genuinely want to be cured, uh, give hope, you know, there is hope. And, you know, my mother worked over 30 years in mental health. Uh, my daughter now works in mental health.
Dindung then we get to Dindung. Go get where I'm going, heat my water up, gotta do some of that washing. Get on with it! The only other option is to get a wife. Uh, but to be honest, I've had two of them already and I didn't do a very good job of either of them, so. <laughs> I don't think uh, a third one would uh, do too much good to me. Plus, the fact I think getting a boating wife is quite a specific task because they've got a light camping and not many women like camping uh, so I give up looking for a wife uh, because A I'm not very good at it and B don't really want to share what I've got <laughs> that's not true but Take a good woman to put up with me, I'll tell you. I've got into a lot of bad habits over the last 10 years, being single. <laughs> it's good when you don't have to mind your P's and Q's. <laughs> but then when you get into a social situation, it's not that you, let, you let yourself go sometimes. <laughs>
didn't end up videoing it because I didn't really want to video him because he might have took offence to it. Uh, he might have had to say five words. One of being, one of them being off. <laughs> but yeah, so the funny folk, you then you must have remembered the boat. The last time I saw him, he mentioned about the name. Uh, so he must have remembered the boat. You know, and like you say, we've got nothing better to do than boat spots. You do start remembering boats the more and more you see them. It's, you know, because there is a local community for as, for as national as the canals are. Uh, the network is national. There is also someone a bit of a crash bang wallop. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. There is also a local element to it. Canals in the heyday would have been run uh, regionally as opposed to nationally. Uh, so, you know, if you ran the Middlewich branch, let's say, for example, on your boat, you know, you probably wouldn't really have run anything else. You'd probably never gone on any of the canals. You'd have just gone up and down here, up and down, up and down, up and down for all your life, you know. And if you ran, I don't know, the potteries to, uh, let's say, Manchester, uh, which is what it all started as, you know. And that's, that's what you've done, you've done it all your life. You've never gone to London on the boat, you know. That was for people who went to London, you know. Uh, you've never gone across the country to Hull or wherever, that was for people who went to Hull. It was all very localised. It was only when when it got nationalised the British waterways uh, but it did got nationalised eventually and became British waterways and it's probably only at that point that you might have started moving around a bit but of course you know boating as a an industry was well I think the only person who didn't know it was dead was boating <laughs> uh,
over the winter you can catch up with yourself a little bit won't be good for me because I like to be uh, behind gives me buys me a lot of breathing space uh, for when I'm not in the editing zone uh, but yeah it'd be good to catch up and get a bit more live and current because sometimes you say things on camera and how you feel at the time uh, but like today I've been rambling on about all sorts of garbage it's just how I'm feeling today but of course then you know in sort of like 10 weeks time when I release the video <laughs> uh, I'll be like when people will be commenting and stuff and I'll be like what are you on about? <laughs> what are you talking about? you have to go back and watch your own video uh, so I was depressed that day <laughs> yeah I'm not depressed so yeah it'll be good to maybe catch up a little bit I won't do that much vlogging over the winter because you've seen it all before uh, so it'll just be you know one or two a month little update video just to say still alive you know freezing my tits off but still alive <laughs> uh, not once we get the walk back to nine fire on we won't be freezing our little boobs off so look at that tree there isn't it lovely colour look at it Autumn has its uh, benefits, I suppose. Not many, and we're not in Wharton now. Wharton. We're not in Wharton, autumn. We are in winter, I think, now. Is it official? Uh, yeah, well, it is for me. It's cold, so I'm having it. Some would probably say, no, it's still autumn. Uh, well, from a boating perspective, we probably only really have two seasons. That's uh, summer and winter. Uh, uh, summer you can play, winter you've got to be miserable. Well, we're in the winter phase now. It's funny, isn't it? You go through, I've just been through that bridge. On the side of that bridge, blowing a bloody gale. Come through the bridge, lovely, nothing. I cruise on this all day, not an issue. I'll probably get through the next bridge, it'll be blowing a gale again. Can't work it out. Be a big video this might have to be a two-parter hey look at this leader here look at him chasing me chasing me It's not as far as I wanted to get. Uh, I do know there's like a, a lay-by thing over that bridge. So that if I get stuck here for a couple of days, the kids can come here and visit me. Uh, so that's not too bad. Apart from somebody's let the dog shit now. Oh, shit. Apart from somebody's let the dog out right next to the back of my boat. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, But yeah, this is it. It's blowing a gale on the middle. I really like that bit of a news reporter. This is Michael Riley reporting from the middle, which runs cold, wet, peeved off, married, two children, poorly paid, <laughs> whatever it went. But yeah, blowing a gale. So this is us now, only a short hop today. At least I've made it. I've had the end. I'm going to leave the end running for a bit while I do the washing. Uh, I'm back to back with another boat, but I've got I've got a good 20 feet. I don't even think there's anybody on it, so I won't be bothering them. Uh, I'm more or less up to the bow of the other boat, so I won't be bothering them, apart from when the maniac gets off. So this is it. 
the rambling video is no longer. Thank God they all say. Toodaloo!